Good morning, everybody. Fan Man Steve here. It is Sunday, September the 17th. I am back after a after a long break on YouTube. I did, uh, as I mentioned in the community uh, community post, that uh, that I would be that I would be uh, gone for a while. Had a lot to do. Other than that. Other than that, um, I've just been taking it easy and and just have my mind on a lot of things. And there's other things that, that I've been focusing on at the time being. But today, I'm going to make a comeback with, uh, with, a, with one of my pride and joys. And upon doing this, uh, fall is drawing near. Uh, temperatures are dropping. Actually, I think we've seen the last of uh, summer of summer weather by the end of August, and um, temperatures have been dropping down into um, maybe the the mid 70s, and it's been staying between uh, the mid 70s uh, and the and the 80s. So I think it's about that time. Uh, you know, people are getting their air conditioners back out, and if you're a fan collector or even a fan user in general, that people are putting their fans back in the window, which is my time of year, <clears throat> so to speak. But anyway, uh, I'm sure that you all know this fan. This is this is my pride and joy. Um, this is my 1950s Wizard box fan that I bought um, four years ago and this is my fall fan and the reason I call it my fall fan because uh, I did I did get this fan in the fall of 2019 and if you watch uh, watch my video of it which was the very first video uh, first fan that I ever recorded on YouTube on high. And you can hear them bearings and that fan grinding. Puts out a pretty good breeze. Almost forgotten what these things sounded like. There, we'll power it on low. It's still, we will go ahead and we will turn the fan off. I think it was uh, October of that year when I got it. So, but um, um, this is probably one of my favorite box fans in my collection, and the very first uh, antique or more or less vintage or antique box fan that I bought when I started collecting vintage fans. Um, this fan has been through a lot. Um, this thing was, this thing was in pretty bad shape when I got it. It was really beat up. Um, it's been through, it's been through a couple of restorations. I've, I've done a lot of work with it. It's come a long way. Um, I think I probably... I got I got very lucky with this one because the original motor to it motor to this uh, failed. I think I only got like two or three days of use out of it. Uh, just when I when I realized that the motor on it was going the original motor to it was going out, and I replaced it with a with a with a with a another Westinghouse motor out of a out of a 1980s air conditioning unit. Um, it is a three-speed now. Um, on all the four years, um, I have had no problems with it. It's still going strong. Very powerful fan, very quiet. I don't think it's as powerful as the what the original was, but it's still very efficient. Still, ha It has the same function um, as the uh, two-speed original. Fan has fan was I do believe originally a 
like a mint green color. I think the, the last time I painted this was maybe about a couple of years ago. And I painted it, I think, like a laurel green or something like that. I have not painted it again since then. I've done some modifications to it. This is the carrying handle that I salvaged off of an old toolbox. This did come with a this did come with a stand, and I still have it, by the way. But but I just really haven't had the room for it here, so that's still in storage. That is the badge right there. However, that's not the original. This came off of another wizard box fan that I have. It's still in real good shape. It's not faded out or scuffed up or anything. And it gives the, uh, the rating right there. 115 volts, 60 cycle, and AC only. And this is the switch panel. And this is the original. It is a little faded out and scuffed up there but you can still see everything there is the the uh, the power draw 115 volts and AC and I still remember the model number you can still kind of see it it's a 6JC3020 that's the the model number of this fan 4.0 amp I do uh, intend to uh, restore this in due time whenever I'm not so busy. This is this is the, the new switch that I that I put on it. This is a three-speed switch. Primarily all, all the way up until I moved, I uh, I was putting two-speed or three-speed switches off of uh, modern box fans. Uh, there was even some other switches that I was using that was very similar to the original, which was a was a rotary Lebanon switch, but uh, that was not definitely not the intended for this one. But uh, yeah, works really well. Let's go ahead and turn it around. Okay, so this is the back of the fan. And there is that Weston Kaus motor. Your motor motor was originally a battleship gray color. And I repainted it. And I think it looks pretty cool. It matches a with the rest of the fan. I'd seen other other uh these other box fans like this uh that had the uh that had the emblem that was in cursive, much like my reversible. And they had the same odors, but they were they were painted the same thing as the fan, and I thought that it looked really cool. So since I was never able to get one for the time being, I just kind of, you know, made it to look like this. Anyway, yeah. Um, there's the there's the windings if you can see it, and they are in perfectly good shape. I just cleaned and serviced this yesterday too, by the way. It was really filthy and really dirty. It had been sitting in my closet for for quite a while. And so with uh with cooler weather drawing near, I figured I'd go ahead and get it back out, give it a good cleaning and good servicing for use. This is the power cord. This, however, is not the original. This has also been through uh, multiple other power cords. Um, I still have the original to this around here somewhere. Uh, this originally came off of, uh, of the Lively Air fan that I have, and I just put it on there to make it look, you know, more legitly original. There is the uh, little compartment for the switch and the wiring and whatnot. I think that 
I've never understood that. I mean, it never really bothered me. But uh, some of these other fans never really had this compart had this this little box in there because they were wired the same. I'm not exactly sure what the deal with that was. But I had even seen other fans like this, you know, some like the Zero box fans and even some of the Toastmaster box fans that had those little those little compartments. I think that those were to protect the, the wiring from falling into the fan. So yeah. Well, I guess I'll go ahead and I'll I'm gonna get this thing plugged in and I will and I will give a demonstration of it. Okay, so now I have the fan plugged in. And I've got the, the window raised to where it's going to pull the air in. It's pro it's going to get a little noisy because the rooster is outside. So try to overlook that if you can. But uh, I will go ahead and I will start this up on... I will start this up on the high speed. Running very smoothly, it's putting out a, a good blast of cool air that it's pulling in through the window. No vibration whatsoever, no rattling. This, man, this thing is definitely a survivor, man, I'm telling you. drop it down to medium. <sighs> medium speed on this is really good if uh some others would use these, you know, like a medium speed for nighttime sleep. But in my opinion, I like to use, you know, the, the lower the lower positions, you know, throughout the day. Especially if you're uh, if you're wanting to, to, to draw cooler air throughout throughout the house or just into your room in general. Okay, now we will drop it down to the low. I like the low speed on this. Okay, let's turn it back up to the high. Pull it away from the airstream to where you can hear it.
Okay, I will turn it off. These fans have uh, some of the best coast down times. Even with these what with these Weston Cast motors, they were some of the best uh, motors ever built. And the that's a sleeve bearing too, by the way. But then again, I just had to oil this, so it's going to take a while for it to. It's still trying to work its way in. Okay, let's see if we can get a start up soon. Okay, everybody. Well, there you go. There is, this is a false startup 2020, 2023 of my wizard, my old wizard box fan here. Um, I think from here on out, probably until, <clears throat> until winter season, I'll just do, you know, fan startups of all of my fans, particular, particularly, the ones that are working and the ones that I may swap out of storage uh, over time. So uh, I hope that you all have enjoyed the video and please like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you all later. Have a good day and bye-bye.